The line of scrimmage runs right down the middle of 11 acres of land at the Virginia Beach oceanfront, known as Rudy Loop. Yeah, on one side, there's NFL Hall of Famer Bruce Smith. On the other side, an established local developer. Tonight, I'm taking a closer look into a history of allegations against the resort city. Bruce Smith was front and center in 2017 when an independent probe concluded the playing field was not level for minorities, women, and handicapped veterans when it comes to business at the beach. No hate, no fear. Five years later, in a town hall meeting, Smith is still frustrated, saying it's essentially business as usual at the beach. We, the people, have to do something about it. At Rudy Loop, what the city calls one of the most desirable, undeveloped plots on the East Coast, Smith reflected on his call to action just weeks away from local elections. This was the first time that Republicans, Democrats, and Libertarians all came together for one cause, and that's to stop cronyism. It doesn't make a difference who you are. When there is cronyism involved, all they care about is protecting the monopoly. This monopoly, says Smith, includes two former city council members and Bruce Thompson, who was the developer and owner of high-profile properties in Virginia Beach and Norfolk. In a statement, Thompson told 10 on your side, quote, I don't have the front page of the newspaper or the excuse of cronyism and racism to voice my objections when I am not selected in a competitive bid process. Bruce Smith, Bruce Thompson, and two other organizations are vying for the Rudy Loop project, which could include a park and redevelopment of this privately owned hotel. Smith charges a backroom deal is on the horizon. The wasteful spending of taxpayers' dollars to enrich your inner circle and your buddy friends has got to stop. From Booker T. Washington High School in Norfolk to Virginia Tech to the NFL. The first sack for Buffalo, and you know that's Bruce Smith. And its Hall of Fame, Bruce Smith says he will continue to fight for a level playing field. My father. Um, would always tell me, whatever you do in life, don't ever give up. Late this year or early next year, city officials will gather input from the public on the future of Rudy Loop. Mayor Bobby Dyer told me minutes ago, quoting here, over the decades, there have been a number of proposals that did not see the light of day for a number of reasons. Be assured that cronyism and racism are not part of any process that I've been a part of, said Dyer. I will have more details on wavy.com.